Now we'll take a look at how to create a GNSS job in SmartWorks Viva. This video applies to SmartWorks Viva Full with the blue banners, SmartWorks Viva Lite with extended functionality such as the California iRover which would have the orange screen banners, and partially to SmartWorks Viva Lite will point out the differences on that particular item. From the main display on our Viva controller, we will select Jobs and Data, and then New Job so that we can create the job uh, to contain our data. Uh, the first line here we'll see that is the name, and we'll need to enter a name for the job. In this case, we'll call it Example. And accept that. Optionally, we can have two lines of description, and we can also put the creator's name or initials, however we want to maintain the information there. The final line here is the device. This is where we'll be storing the job. Uh, the normal would be internal memory, but in this case, we could also store that job to an SD card if we desire. Uh, depending on what we've got loaded into the controller, we might see compact flash card here as well. We're going to leave this at an internal memory. We move along the tabs from uh, left to right, and we'll go to the code list. And if we wish to use a code list uh, with this job, we can drop the box and we can see the code list that we have loaded into our controller. So I've got one here called TJK Codes. If that's a code list that I wanted to use, I would just select that and press OK. And that will be the code list that will be utilized for this job that we're creating called Example. On the CAD Files tab, uh, we can see that uh, we can bring in uh, uh, DXF files or shape files as background uh, on our map displays. We can also work further on those, which will be covered in another video. Please be aware that this is full Viva with the blue screens. Uh, Viva Lite with extended functionality, like with the iRovers, we will see this tab. But on Viva Lite, uh, for ex example, like with the Net Rovers, we will not see the CAD Files tab. If we wish to pick one of these files, for example, I could pick this uh, bridge file, which is a DXF, and to attach it to the job, I would just select Attach, and then notice that Attach has changed from No to Yes, so we would see the uh, information in that on our map displays, uh, in that DXF file on the map displays in our project. As we move along, we take a look at our coordinate system tab, and right now it's come up with none in this case. I could select the box here, and let's and we see the list of the coordinate systems that we've got loaded into our controller. Uh, I might want to pick the California Zone 3, uh, Natty 3 definition, and select OK, and then it'll show us a summary of what's included in that coordinate system, the ellipsoid, the projection, the geoid model, and so forth. If I'm happy with that, we finally move to our averaging tab where we can select the mode for the averaging. Uh, there's various choices there. And then the method, which would be either weighted or no weighting, which would be just a pure arithmetic mean. The normal would be weighted where we're using the quality of the measurements uh, in consideration when we come up with the weighted mean or the points. Uh, under points to use, we can tell it that we want to use total station and GPS data total station data only or GPS data only. Uh, it, depending on the situation, the measurements that we're taking in this job would make our decision here. Uh, in this case, it's a GPS only job. I could just set that to GPS only or I could have left it to total station and GPS since there won't be any total station measurements in this particular project. It really won't matter that uh, they're there because they're not going to be taken into consideration anyway. And finally, uh, we can set a limit in the position and the height. And if we exceed the averaging limit that we've entered, then we could uh, either be in position or height. We'll have a warning when we've taken multiple measurements on a given point, and then we can make a decision as to whether we want to store that value or ignore it. Uh, so I can change my limit here. Maybe I want this to be uh, 500 foot. Um, enter, and then maybe I want my heights uh, to be limited to a tenth of a foot, and enter, 
and then any time I exceed either of these limits in either the position or the height, it's going to uh, give me an indication, and I can uh, make a decision at that point in time. Now, if I go back to my general tab, I've completed everything that I need to here for my job example, and I can just press store, and my job's been created, and now I'm ready to work. Notice that uh, as it creates the job, it did bring in the DXF file for that bridge example. As always, if you require more information, check our website at lika-geosystems.com. For support, send an email to survey.support at likaus.com, or you can make support inquiries and obtain other information from my world. If you haven't registered for my world, we'd recommend that you do so now.